Hello everyone, welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create Polygon data in QGIS. So I have already made the, uh, I have created a shapefile called as Polygon QGIS in, in the QGIS. So let me add that data. So here on the top, you can find the Open Data Source Manager. Click on it. And in the vector option, you can see the browse button. Just click on the browse button so that you can uh, navigate to the folder where you have saved the polygon layer. So here you can see the polygon QGIS and we need to select the SSP file, open it and now we are going to add the file. Once you have added, added it, you can just check in. So this is the polygon file which we have created. So previously I have also created QGIS. Uh, uh, line and polygon sorry line and point in QGIS so in this video I will be creating polygon data so let us see how to do that so we will be first digitizing a, a water body over here you can see so this is this is what we are going to digitize so just select the polygon file and you can find the toggle editing on the top we have to enable it so if you don't find this tool right click on the empty space and the toolbars you can find the option digitizing tools just enable it now we just uh, getting back to the video so here we need to just uh, click on the toggle editing so after uh, selecting the toggle editing you can find that the uh, add polygon feature has been it's been found just click on it now we are going to create uh, polygon data we are going to digitize a, a lake so here we are going to left click on this map and we'll be creating a lot of uh, vertexes for maintaining the shape of the lake so while digitizing try to zoom in as much as possible you can just navigate around the map using the scroll button so that will be very easy you can use the scroll button to na navigate between the maps navigate to the new uh, various extent in the map So I am just using the left click for uh, digitizing the lake and I am creating vertex x to maintain the shape. So if you put more vertexes the shape will be maintained and you can see the deviation over here. So this is because when we are digitizing on when we are creating line or polygon which we should just zoom in to the uh, as much as possible so that the digitizing accuracy will be maintained. Once again, I'm going to left click, left click full in digitization. We, we are going to use just a full uh, left click for digitizing a layer or creating a polygon data. The things to be remembered is while digitizing, please, to tr please try to zoom in as much as possible. So here we need to put more vertices to maintain the shape. So I am right now I am using an open uh, open layer plugin. So I am using the street maps, open street maps for digitizing. You can use uh, tropo sheets 
or satellite imagery for digitizing. So this is just an example, just showing you how to digitize or how to create a polygon data in QGIS. Uh, and here, let me assume the shape. More vertexes are needed in this uh, corners or in turning edges so that we maintain the shape, so that we can maintain the shape perfectly. So you can see that we have started from this point. So let me click a point over here and finish my editing using the right click. So we have digitized the water body. So in the ID, we need to create, we need to give a unique ID. It should not be the same. The name will be given as lake and hit the button OK. So you can see here, we have digitized the lake successfully. So likewise, we can digitize some more features. For example, you can find a cattle breeding ground over here. You can just digitize it. Use the left click button to start digitizing. Left click, left click full one. We have to just use left click for digitizing. Please do keep it in mind. And this edges or in turning points, we should be using the, we should be using more uh, vertex X. While digitizing, we should be very, very careful so that the accuracy will be better and your result will be significantly better. Use the left click. Zoom in as much as possible. Here I'm just uh, for showing you, I'm just doing it roughly. That too very much easily I'm doing it. But when you are actually digitizing, you can, you can be digitizing a forest area. You can be digitizing a water body. At that time you should be very much careful because you might be uh, trying to accurately measure the area of change. So in that kind of point, it is uh, very necessary to zoom in and accurately. So in order to finish it, use the right click option, give a unique ID and name it. And hit the button OK. So we have created another polygon. So I have shown you two examples how to create the polygon data. So first we have created a digitized water body and after that we have digitized a breeding ground. So likewise you can create the polygon. So using this polygon data you can digitize forest area, you can digitize water bodies, build up and uh, barren lands, wetlands. And if you have any doubts please do ask in the comment section. So finally, we need to hit the button save layer edits so that the layer will be saved and hit the button 
toggle editing so we have successfully digitized the polygon data in QGIS so in the upcoming videos we'll be seeing how to edit uh, this uh, data how to edit this data how to change the uh, dimensions of the line or how to move points how to move lines so we'll be seeing that in the upcoming videos so thanks for watching Terra special goodbye everyone